Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Are you tired of waiting hours to upload large videos to some hosting services? Or worse, finding that your files exceed the size limits of any platform? In this video, I will show you the best and free tools you can use to make your video files smaller so that they take up less space while still maintaining their quality on your Windows computer. Let's go. First on this list is Handbrake a free and open source video compressor known for its ability to convert video to almost any format. You can download the application for free at handbrake.fr. Please note that in order to use Handbrake, your PC must be running the Microsoft Windows desktop runtime. If you are prompted to download and install Microsoft.net, be sure to do so and follow the on-screen instructions to continue. After setting it up, launch Handbrake. Click File on the dashboard and locate the video you want to compress. When the program has finished scanning your file, there are a few key settings you need to configure. To change the quality of your video, click the Preset drop-down box and choose one from the list. While in the Summary tab, you can choose another video format for output or leave it at MP4. Make sure to check Web Optimized as well, to make it more optimized for the web. Next, go to the Video tab and leave the video encoder at its default value. Set Frame Rate to Same as Source and mark Constant Frame Rate as checked. Navigate to the Save As field below and click Browse to set your preferred destination folder for the compressed output later. Finally, click the Start Encode button in the toolbar above to start the compression. Depending on the size of the file, this process may take a while, and you can monitor the progress at the bottom of the dashboard. When you see the Q Finished indicator below, you can close the application and check the output to the folder you specified earlier. Next on the list is VLC a free open source media player that is a popular choice among users because of its user-friendly interface and video compression capabilities. If you don't have it installed yet, you can go to videoland.org to download the installer for your computer. Open the VLC player. Click Media in the top menu bar and go to Convert or Save. In the Open Media dialog box, hit the Add button to import your video file and click Convert or Save to confirm. Locate the Profile drop-down menu and select either Video H.265 or Video H.264 to reduce the size of the original file. If you're looking for a different video codec, click the wrench icon and go to the panel for additional configurations. Finally, set a destination folder for the output and click the Start button to begin the compression. When you see the progress is complete, you can close the program and check the compressed video where you saved it. Another tool to add to the list is the Any Video Converter, which supports a variety of input formats and has a well-designed interface that makes downloading and converting very easy. Get the application for free at any-video-converter.com slash en8 slash 4 underscore video underscore free. You can also click on the tag at the top right or find the link below for easier access. To begin, open any video converter. Select Compress Video from the list of toolkits and upload your video. The imported video should appear on the main interface with a thumbnail and other file information. In the configuration panel on the right, set both the compression options and output options to your preferred values. After the setup, click Start to begin compressing the video. In addition to these third-party tools, Window also has a built-in video editor for its users called Microsoft ClipChamp. It's a simple yet powerful tool that lets you perform basic editing tasks like rotating, removing audio, and compressing video files. However, please note that a premium subscription is required to access the full features and content. To get started, launch Microsoft ClipChamp. If you are opening the application for the first time, you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account.
When the main dashboard loads, go to Create a new video. Click Import Media and choose the video you want to compress. Next, drag and drop the uploaded file into the editor menu below and click Export in the top right corner of the window. Choose your preferred video quality and just wait until the program processes the export. Once the export is finished, click Save to your computer and choose the destination folder to save the compressed file. Last but not least is Free Convert, an online video compression tool that offers an exceptional free file conversion service with a user-friendly interface. This is a good alternative particularly if you don't want to install a program on your PC. You can access the online tool at freeconvert.com and make sure you have a stable internet connection for it to work properly. In the dashboard, click Choose Files or drag and drop to upload the video you want to compress. Here, you can either keep the default settings set by the program or click the cog button for more advanced options. Finally, click Convert to start compressing your video. When the status bar changes to Done, just click the Download button to save the output to your PC. Okay, if I've been able to help you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and a subscription. If something didn't work out and you're stuck, check the comments. Maybe someone has solved the problem. Otherwise, I can try and help you further. I offer personal support on Fiverr and can give you independent advice. I also offer many other services. Feel free to check them out. You'll find the link in the video description. Until next time, bye.